In this video, I'm going to show you how to predict the amount of traffic and potential leads that you can get from ranking a website right here in the Google Maps pack. So let's say you are a local business or you're working with local businesses as an SEO agency and you want to target the keyword Miami DUI attorney. We come over here to SEMrush. We see that this keyword alone gets searched for 170 times per month. And then we've got all these different variations of it as well that will also trigger this maps pack down here. Now, it's really difficult to try and forecast how much traffic you're gonna get from this maps pack because when you use tools like SEMrush or any keyword planner for that matter, it doesn't really take into account the maps pack. It just looks at the traditional blue SERP listings down here. And when we look at these blue SERP listings, they're all the way down the bottom of the page. So the data that you get in terms of trying to forecast off of what an SEO campaign would look like targeting any keyword that has any sort of local modifier goes out the window a little bit because the click the rate on these when you've got local service ads, when you've got PPC ads, and then the maps pack here on top drastically plummets. Traditionally speaking, the first place result gets around a 30 to 40% click through rate. When you have all this noise on top, that goes down to five to 10%. So all those forecasts that you're building, if you're not taking into account all the noise on top of it, go out the window. And that's exactly what I'm gonna show you how to do in this video with just a few clicks. So in order to build this forecast, we need to use the traffic projection tool. You can just head over to trafficprojection.com. So let's go ahead and say we wanna build it for this website here. This is a criminal defense attorney who services Miami. So we're just gonna start by creating a new projection here. And I'm just gonna use the name of the website. Grab the whole thing there, United States. Now what we wanna do is we wanna put in three competitors. Now, the competitors that you wanna use here are ones that are gonna be competing against the same type of keywords. So the simplest thing that you can do is just go back to the SERP here, and I like to just take the top uh, organic results, or you could grab the ones from the Maps Pack here as well. So I went ahead and grabbed these ones here. I also like to make sure that if especially in this case, right? I wanna make sure that they are a Miami local business. I know this is a Miami number, it's 786, so I know it is. Instead of just having this landing page up here, right? That's a Miami DUI lawyer. I wanna go after a website that has all Miami-based keywords so I can try and scrape as much information as possible. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab all of these here. Now I can also add in additional keywords that I want. So like Miami DUI attorney, or I could come back here to SEMrush. I can grab, I can download these keywords, especially the ones that I know are triggering the maps pack results over here. So I can just copy and paste these over into this tool so we can make sure that we're gonna grab all the keywords that we want. Now, once I've added enough keywords, I'm just gonna to go to the next step. On this page here, it just validates that we have real websites that have traffic. You can just check them out here um, one by one to check out you know, how they're performing. You can look at the website that you put in as well. It compares it against the market. And it just shows you your, how your traffic is performing historically, total search volume, and then also the value of that traffic if you were to pay for that with AdWords. Next, we just go ahead and let the tool work its magic. And what it does here on the back end is it's aggregating all this keyword data into one singular database. Once we have all these keywords in one single database, now we're able to apply keyword level forecasts to each one of these. But the best part about this is this tool recently added in the ability to target to forecast based on SERP features. So when I come here to advanced filter, I can just filter based on keywords that are triggering the local maps pack. So now every single keyword that we see in here is triggering the local maps pack for that term. So now we can forecast just based on the local maps pack. And the way that we do that is every keyword here, we can come over here to target position and it tells us where we're currently ranking. And then the target position that we set is where we think we can get it to at the end of a 12 month campaign. Now you can see we can get to position one, five, 10 or local, local one or local three. Now each one of these triggers a different click through rate calculation on the back end. So if we select position one here, it's gonna apply a 30% click through rate unless there is a local maps pack happening. And if that's the case, and that click through rate for position one moves down and local pack one here gets a 44% click through rate, this is all based on public data on the internet. So we're applying click through rate data based on where you think you can get it to specifically in those areas. Now, the first scenario here that we're projecting on is just the keywords that are on our website. So all these keywords here are on the website that are currently ranking for the one that we wanna focus on. So this is dgons.com. And again, you can see the monthly volume, 
you can see the cost per click and you can see the position where this keyword is currently ranking for this website now what we can do based on all these is a number of things one is we can auto apply target positions here and if you do this what it's going to do it's going to automatically apply keyword forecast based on best practices so it's just saying here that any keyword above position 20 we're just going to exclude that because maybe we can't get it to rank that high any keyword from position 10 to 20 we're going to move it to 10 and then all the way down etc so you can see some forecasting happened here and you can see that this is now saying okay based on your own keyword growth just the keywords that are on your website you're, you can expect 314 additional visits per month at the end of next year now again it's probably a little bit too light so what we want to do what i like to do is filter just based on location keywords right so these are all local keywords that have the word Miami in them. And also we know that the maps pack is triggering there. So we could just go here and select all these and say, okay, we want to apply the target position local one for these, right? You can see how much it's going to boost it up. So now it's saying if we get in the maps pack for all these keywords here, we can expect this type of growth. Now what we can do next is now we're going to forecast based on new keywords and the new keywords that we have are coming from the competitors that we gave it so you can see the two competitor websites that we gave it and then also the must-have keywords and this is automatically going to filter out any keywords that you're already ranking for so there's new, no duplications here so again you can see that the keyword surf feature here is already set for local we can auto apply target positions uh, again or we can just keep it with keywords in Miami or we can just do DUI right uh, anything uh, and even like Miami DUI, right? Or we could do DUI first and then Miami DUI. So uh, there's a number of ways that we can do this in terms of slicing it. Uh, we can filter by volume, cost per click, the target position that they currently are. And then again, we can go through either one by one and say, okay, immigration lawyer Miami, we don't need that because we're not doing anything with immigration, pretrial, irrelevant, Miami immigration, blah, blah, we don't need it. Now Miami DUI attorney on there at the hand, this is definitely one that we know that we are gonna wanna get in the maps pack and we think we can get it to position one or maybe we think we can get it to position three. So you're just gonna go through here and again, you're gonna forecast based on all that. So if we just do Miami DUI, these two keywords here, we can say, okay, these are all ones that we know for sure, Miami DUI. I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna go ahead and move all these to at least position three. And then we can just do DUI too. And again, these are all already triggering the local maps pack. So like we don't even need to put the Miami modifier or any of those local modifiers in there. So there's 20 selected here. Again, let's move these all to position local three. Or maybe, you know what? I'm feeling froggy today. I think we can get these to position one because we're really damn good at what we do. So we'll get these all to position one. So that's how you go through and you can filter and you can literally at the keyword level build forecasts just for what's in the maps pack. And then we come here to the final step here. Now we've got this beautiful reporting dashboard that's gonna show us all these different growth scenarios that we can take to the client. Like we literally do not send out a proposal without this inside of it, because this is how we answer that question. What can I expect as a result of your services? Okay, great. We've been burned by so many agencies before in the past. What do you think that you can do for our website in three months, six months, nine months, 12 months, 18 months, etc.? And this is how we answer that question. We say, look at this is how your website is currently going. You've had a little spike here, but overall, you're still only getting 128 visits per month, estimated last year. Um, and then we say, okay, based on your current trajectory, if you just keep doing what you're doing, you know, you're probably maybe double your traffic, get up to 250 visits per month. That's still not going to move the needle for any business, right? Then we say, okay, but what if we go ahead and do an SEO campaign and focus just on the keywords that you have? Just on that alone, we can quadruple your traffic just by focusing what you currently have on your website. And this is being modest, of course, too. And then we say, if we then factor in new keywords in total addressable market, we can take you from 227 visits to estimated 1,214 visits. Okay, great, Ryan, but like, what are the keywords that you're using? Well, they're all down here. So what we can show you is the existing pages here, which maps to this one, all the keywords that we're then targeting here. And also too, you can go back and edit these too. If you're like, hey, you know what? I don't need this TGK inmate search in here. Let's go back and remove that. You just go back to the forecast, remove that from the forecast. So it's an iterative process that you keep going through to get this right. And it gets very, very accurate the more that you do this. Um, so you can look at the existing targets based on the keyword or the landing pages. So you can see the landing page and the total keywords, uh, the projected traffic based on landing page or the projected traffic based on the specific keyword. And then for new opportunities, again, you can aggregate this into landing page or you can go ahead and just look at keywords, which is a little bit better for new opportunities here. I love the value of this too, because this is what really sells our attorney clients to say, this is, you're paying for this right now for AdWords, you're breaking the bank. We can reduce that with SEO. 
and this is the plan and the path that you're going to see to do that. And then also, of course, now we have just local keywords. So these are just maps pack keywords. These are, these are the ones that trigger the maps pack that we know for a fact are going to drive. You know, if, if so, if they're getting uh, an estimated uh, 600 visits from this per month, we know that there's usually a 25 percent call rate off the back of that. So we can forecast that and see how many uh, phone calls that we can get off the back of that as well. Then this also goes by intent, navigational and commercial keyword, and then also breaking these down into buckets based on uh, based on all that. So that's how we build Maps Pack forecasts. It's extremely accurate for the tools that we available because it's really the only tool out there that allows us to hyper focus on the SERP features, which would be the Google Maps Pack, and then hyper focus on that set of keywords and build specific forecasts based on those keywords. So if you're interested in signing up, all you have to do is head over to trafficprojection.com. It's ready to go uh, and it's incredibly valuable. So if you have any questions, hit below in the comments. If not, I'll see you in the next video.